This is good. Sorry about that. Anyway, back again for my after WrestleMania Raw review. Um, first of all, gonna start off by saying I wish that I had gotten tickets for this show and stayed like at a hotel or something or even in my car um, and gone to the show the next day because I had I had work off so. Um, the only problem is, um, my mom actually drove because my car probably wouldn't have made the distance, so she offered to drive me, um, but she had work Monday, so I couldn't stay, unfortunately, but it would have been an awesome show to see. Um, this was the best crowd I have ever heard in, I shouldn't say ever, but in a very, very long time, um, so many chants. Oh, it was crazy. Um, anyway, show opens with uh, Cena coming out because, you know, you have to have Cena in the beginning of a show. This, because all the little kids watching on TV, you know, they have to get Cena in so that the little kids can go to bed. You know, they saw Cena, you know. Okay. He comes out, um, starts talking about, kind of hinting at a heel turn, but he's really not going to. It, it was stupid. It was ridiculous. And whatever. Um, and then he's basically saying, um, we're gonna, he's gonna, um, sorry. He basically says he's gonna, you know, put the title up, uh, tonight, you know, somebody's gonna get a chance at it. He's like, basically, anybody in the back, anybody, whoever, he doesn't care who it is, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, next thing you know, Mark Henry comes out, um, trying, getting, trying to get a cha uh, chance at the title, um, because obviously, you know, Mark Henry wants a legitimate, a uh, really, a good title reign before he retires, like I said in the last video. He's been in forever, he really hasn't, except for his world heavyweight title reign, which didn't last as long as it could have, um, I, he definitely deserves it. Um, for for as long as he's been with the company, um, he deserves it before he retires. But again, um, Cena's like, all right, you got it, you got it, whatever. Um, but then Booker T comes out and says, no, no, we're not going to do that. Um, excuse me, sorry about that. Um, he says basically, you know, if you want the title shot you have to, you're going to have a match with John Cena tonight, and if you beat John Cena, you get a title shot. Um, so anyway, it sets up that, the, basically the main event for tonight, um, which I was like, oh, uh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, we had a match with, um, we had a handicap match, um, Zeb Coulter and Jack Swagger, or Jack Swagger and Zeb Coulter, whatever. Uh, versus Alberto De Rio. Um, it was okay. Um, um, De Rio did make uh, Swagger tap out with the uh, cross arm breaker. Um, uh, it was just, and then. Um, Zip Coulter and uh, Jack Swagger kind of attacked uh, Del Rio because I don't know how long it takes an angle to heal. I don't know. But apparently when uh, Ricardo Rodriguez has a broken ankle, he's fucking useless and doesn't do shit. You have crutches. Use them as a weapon. Hundreds of other people do it. Why not you? Fucking use it. Right like that. It's easy. But he doesn't do anything. So they attack Del Rio. They kind of go after his knee. I guess the ex I guess he actually did like injure his knee because the ref did like I think it's this or whatever. Um, which notifies the uh, the doctor that somebody is legitimately injured. Um, then all of a sudden, 
Swagger, or not Swagger, uh, Ziggler's music hits, which I seriously thought was going to be last night. I don't know why they did not have Ziggler cash in at WrestleMania. Like, I mean, I'm glad that he cashed in, finally, and he actually did win. Um, I'll get back to that in a second, but... It's like, it's almost a little bit disrespectful that they didn't let him cash in at Mania. Um, they did it the Monday after Mania, which is still good. Um, it is the biggest Monday Night Raw of the year, but still, I think he could have done it at WrestleMania. I think it would have made the show so much better. You would have gotten a fucking ginormous pop from that. Oh my god, people would have gone ape shit. They did go ape shit at uh, the IZOD Center for Monday Night Raw when it happened. But still, just imagine how much bigger it would have been at WrestleMania. Um, but anyway, it was it was cool to see because, you know, even being injured, Del Rio kind of did the, you know, champion kind of battle back, you know, he, he really fought for the title still. Um, unfortunately, he lost, and uh, but good for uh, Ziggler. He finally, you know, gets the title. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm proud. I'm glad that he did. Um, I for a while I hated Ziggler, but you know, I'm kind of I'm warming up to him now. Um, but anyway, um, that was cool. So we have a new world heavyweight champion. Um, anyway. What what's next? Next we and it, these aren't in order either. Um, these are just as I remember the matches. I don't know, but uh, we had the match that was supposed to be at WrestleMania, but they I guess they took it out because of time time restraints. Uh, it was Brodus Clay, Tensai, and Cameron and Naomi versus the Bella Twins and Rhodes Scholars. I think the Rhodes Scholars won this match. I believe. The crowd couldn't give two shits about this match, as could I. It, it was just dumb. Um, I don't know. Anyway, uh, we had uh, Fandango, or Fandango, sorry, gotta get that right, versus Kofi Kingston, which kind of pissed me off that they kind of would hint at Kofi Kingston being a jobber. Um, I don't know. I, I'm a Kofi Kingston fan, so I'm also like a Justin Gabriel fan and a um, Tyson Kidd fan and uh, Evan Bourne fan. I guys don't get love anymore, <laughs> you know. Back in the Attitude Era, guys like that, fucking, they were on every show. High flyers here, high flyers there. Now it's just. The fuck? Come on! How much? You know? Do you know how much money would uh, WWE would make if they put these guys on? Because kids love high flyers. Kids love the action. Things like that. Come on! Give these guys fucking TV time. Um. Anyway. Uh, we had Barrett um retaining the title of. Uh, or winning the title back against um, uh, the Miz. Um, I don't know what they're doing with this. If they're hinting at a rivalry, a feud between the two, or if they just don't know what the hell to do with the Intercontinental title, which kind of seems like they don't anymore. WWE, like, come on. Um, it's one of your most prestigious titles in all WWE history, and you don't know what to do with it. That's Come on, let's get on this. Anyway. Next was... This was one of my favorite parts of the night. Was uh, Biggie Langston versus uh, Daniel Bryan. If you did not see this... You're on YouTube now. When you're done with this video, or right now, pause this and open up another browser. And search for this. Because... As Biggie Langston is coming down to the ring for his match, he has obviously Dolph Ziggler and AJ with him. And this was before um, Dolph Ziggler uh, cashed in the 
the money in the bank. Um, he goes to kind of stretch out, <laughs> and he accidentally hits AJ in the chest. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. I I would have I would have paid to be in the backstage when they after the match and they went back to see how that like like how that panned out um because it was oh it was, it was hilarious I mean obviously it maybe he gonna you know it was an accident you know he didn't mean to do it it could have been because you know butterflies and things like that it was his kind of debut match on Raw you know nerves and things like that so but it was oh it was so funny um Biggie, I think, won that match too. He he did look really impressive. I will give him that. You know, um, I think he could be a kind of a big superstar eventually someday. Um, I don't know really what they're kind of doing with him still with uh, Dolph Ziggler. I don't really know what they're planning with that. Um, anyway, um, also tonight, or I should say last night, because. Anyway, whatever. Undertaker comes out and he, he was talking about how the match at WrestleMania he dedicated to um, the memory of Paul Bear. He doesn't get it, he gets like three words out and all of a sudden it hits um, the Shields music. So they start to come out from the crowd like as they always do. Um, they surround the ring, um, getting ready to attack um, Undertaker. And I guess earlier in the night, <sighs> sorry again, um, they sent a tweet saying, you know, they were gonna do something that was gonna really get an impact in Raw, you know, in WWE, things like that. Which I mean, <laughs> would be a good impact attacking Taker. Um, they get up on the ring, on the aprons, you know getting ready to get in there and attack uh, Taker. All of a sudden, BOOM! Uh, Kane and Daniel Bryan come out and kind of get in the ring and uh, stand tall with uh, um, Undertaker. I'm kind of curious what they're doing with this, if they're kind of... if Taker's staying for a little bit and they're kind of going to do an angle where, uh, you know, Team Hell No and... Uh, Kane or and the uh, Undertaker kind of team up, you know, the Brothers of Destruction and Team Hell No. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing with that. I hope um, they do whatever they do, they do it right. I hope they don't fuck up, as WWE does often. <laughs> um, anyway, we had a kind of a dumb six-man tag team match with. Uh, it was good to see Ryder, Santino, and r Truth. Because you don't get to see them as often anymore. Versus 3MB. I don't even remember who won this match. Um, anyway. Um, uh, uh, I, oh, I have to go back to this. I think I kind of faded out. Um with the Fandango versus, uh, uh, versus Kofi Kingston, Jericho does interfere and attacks, um, Fandango for a lot of, I don't know, I don't know what they're doing with that still, um, I don't know if they're gonna have a feud with them still, I don't know, but the funniest thing of the night was the fans were literally singing Fandango's music during the match. It was the greatest thing I've ever heard. Uh, some of the other chants that night were, um, they were chanting JBL, they were chanting, I think, King, uh, they were chanting, um, Michael Cole. It was the funniest thing because, like, and the commentators can obviously hear this and they're like, do you hear what they're chanting? They're chanting my name. It was, it was so funny. Um, Anyway, let me see, where was I? Um, the main event, or, no, I'm not going to do the main event yet. Um, uh, one of the big matches, well, big matches, 
was Orton versus Sheamus. Um, they both wanted uh, to get after um, Big Show for basically turning on them. Um, first, the beginning of the night, Sheamus goes to Vicky Guerrero and says, "You know what? I want a title. I want not a title shot. I want a shot at." Big Show for what he did. I want a piece of him. She agrees and gives him the match. Later on, backstage you see Orton uh, talking to Booker T, saying, "You know what? I want a title. I, I, I keep saying title shot. I want a shot at um, Show for what he did." And Booker says, "Well, you know, Vicky already gave that sh match to uh, Sheamus." Um, Booker basically, or um, Orton says, you know what? You you have you're more you're you have more power over her. You know, you're come on, you're a you're a, a Hall of Famer now. Come on, he's like, all right, all right, I'll do it. Um, so they both come out to the ring. They kind of say their piece. You know, why I should get the chance? Why I should? You know, let me do this. No, let me do this. I got this. Whatever. Um. It ends up being um, Sheamus versus Randy Orton. The winner gets the uh, shot at um, Big Show. This match just... Uh, Sheamus and Big Show just don't work well together. They don't do matches together well. They're both great talents. They just don't mesh together in a match very well. So finally, Show comes out and interrupts the match. And the crowd actually chants, Thank you, Big Show. Um, because that this, the match was just that bad. Um, so he comes out. Orton wins. Um, and Orton gets attacked by Big Show. Um, whatever. Um, so that was that match. Not anything interesting. Um, main event was even worse than that. It was Mark Henry versus Cena. Again, if uh, Henry wins, he gets a title shot. Uh, Henry gets counted out. Um, he gets pissed off because he lost. Uh, he attacks um, John Cena, gives him the world's strongest slam. Um, then all of a sudden, Ryback's music hits. Um, he comes out. He uh, basically kicks Henry's ass. Um, and then all of a sudden he goes into the corner where uh, Cena is, extends his hand out, helps him up, and all of a sudden he just gives him the uh, clothesline um, and kind of gives him the FU. Um, takes the title and basically says, you know, I want my chance. Um, which some people see as a heel turn. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Um, res WWE doesn't always do their heel turns very well, so this may have been a heel turn. It may not have been. I don't know. Um, I don't know. But we'll see what they do with that. I mean, I think he could... I, I think he finally deserves a WWE title shot, you know. Um, I think he could be a good WWE champion. Um, people love him. Um, you know, he still does. He still does get Goldberg chants and stuff like that. But I don't know if that'll ever really go away. Um, I don't know. I mean, Ziggler still gets people saying you're a cheerleader, and you know he was in the Spirit Squad how many years ago? Come on. You know, people, some wrestling fans just don't know when to let certain things go or when something isn't funny anymore, and they just still kind of do it and do it and do it. Um, so, I mean, I think he'll be getting Goldberg chance for a long time, whether he gets the title shot or not, or whether he wins the title or not. Um, it's just something you have to deal with. Um, but... All in all, it was a pretty good Raw. Um, obviously, it was better than an average Raw because it was the Raw after WrestleMania. Again, I'm kind of 
pissed that there was no returns. There was nothing. Come on. Give us a fucking return. Give us a surprise. Give us something. Um, other news we found out that uh, Rock is injured, apparently. Um, Triple H is injured, too. I guess CM Punk hurt himself as well. Not None of them were at the show. Apparently, CM Punk will be at Raw next week, and we'll talk about the match against Taker. I don't know. Um, uh, Paul Heyman says that uh, um, Lesnar is ready for another fight. I don't know who his next opponent is going to be, who they're going to start a feud with, what's going on with that. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, so, kind of excited to see what's going on with next week's Raw. I want to see what they do on SmackDown. Um, even though I really don't watch SmackDown anymore. I record it every week, but 90% of it I fast forward through. Um, they really need to revamp SmackDown. They need to do something. Um, because SmackDown, to me, sucks. Um... I don't know. That's just my opinion. Somebody might love SmackDown. I just don't. Um, but anyway, um, again, give me your thoughts on WrestleMania, on the Raw after WrestleMania. You know, what you liked, what you didn't like, what maybe disappointed you, what you think they should have done. Um, and as for that, if you think they're going to bring more new superstars in, if you think they're going to have returns, when they're going to have those returns, when they're going to bring in new st uh, talent, things like that. Because they usually do, like after WrestleMania, there's usually when they have, like, or at WrestleMania is when they have big returns, big debuts, and there's nothing. Like, I don't get it. Um, I don't know. But, like I said, let me know your thoughts on everything. Um, Alright, guys.